Hi guys, today I am going to explain how to draw reference Google Earth image in the JS. Normally we are using this draw reference image to digitize our data. Before going to draw reference, we want to save our study area in the Google Earth. Let's see how to do it. Go to Google Earth, select your study area. This is my study area. Then I want to add coordinate that means control points around this study area first what i want to do is i want to go to tool i want to check coordinate system of google earth utm i will select that one uh, then ok then i can add points here what i am doing is i want to record this coordinates I will give distant coordinates as label of that point. Like that, you want to do same thing to four points. Normally, when we we are going to do this, we are going to put these points. We want to take these points to corners of our study area. I will add another two points. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to save this area as an image. Therefore, go to File, then Save, Save Image. Sometimes, when you are going to save that, that area as an image, sometimes you can see like this image map title, like these things. We don't want these labels. Therefore, we can go here, then we can uncheck. Uh, then your area is ok here you can change your resolution when increase the resolution then it will take big time to save ok now I will keep it as it is then save as ok, okay now I want to load this image into the GIS already I have explained how to load our data into the GIS like that you want to load your this data into the okay uh, here this is my image i will add it okay then they are giving one of the message they are telling a special reference there is no any special reference to our data that's what we are going to do we are going to give a special reference to our unknown special reference image okay then uh, when you go in, when I go into your reference we want to your reference in tool already I have that tool if anyone can't see that tool you want to right click on that blank area then you can see your reference and you want to check it okay mm, then what you want to do if you have number of images in this table of content then we want to select here your target image already now i have only one image therefore it, ha it, it has taken as a default okay now what we want to do is uh, we want to add control points click here control point tool okay now what we are doing is we want to give correct location to location data to this image then this image will go to correct location therefore we want to give location by using these coordinates uh, after if you get this tool then we want to click in here one click then you want to again right click then it will give input x and y if not we can cancel this point now what we what i want to do is we want to input x and y data this data therefore give x and y data <coughs> if not another way we have another way close that one then we want to double click on here ok then we want to go to here we have 
What we want to do is we want to type here this coordinate in here. I will type it. Now you can't you can't see image because now you have give, given correct location one correct location for the image therefore this image has gone to the correct location it has set up in the correct location therefore we want to right click on the uh, layer then zoom to layer then it will come then you want to do same process to uh, these four points Okay, now I have completed. Uh, now what I want to do is now I want to update this georeference. I want to update these all locations to the image. Therefore, we want to give update here. Then we then it will take coordinates. Okay, now we want to check accuracy of this. Task. Uh, therefore we can check this image with google earth therefore we can we want to make kml click kml uh, if anyone don't know how to get this kml what you want to do is uh, take search then it will appear here then type kml There's, there are more options also layer to kml kml to layer here what we want to do is we want to convert this layer into the kml therefore we want to select here layer to kml give this layer as an input then we want to save it okay Okay, let's check. Okay, hey, you can see this is our georeference image. Like that, you also can you can take your study area, then you can georeference and after your reference you can see is it correct accuracy of your task okay i will stop my video uh, if you have any problems any questions clar clarifications you can comment uh, in my comment section and also uh, subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon then you can then uh, you can see my videos when i uh, upload and also if you can extract knowledge from my videos you can share with this video with your friends okay thank you